Asparagine is one of the 20 different amino acids that make up the proteins in our body. In this visual mnemonic, we'll give you an easy way to remember the structure and properties of asparagine so you'll be ready to crush it on test day. Mmm, it seems that we've found ourselves in a home kitchen for this scene, cooking up a delicious meal. And the star of today's menu? Obviously, it's that fresh steamed asparagus. By the way, the asparagus here is our memory anchor for asparagine. Get it? Asparagus for asparagine? Let's move on to learn the abbreviations of this amino acid. Plain asparagus can be pretty boring. So, to add some pizzazz, you are splashing it with some homemade Asian dressing. This Asian dressing is our symbol for ASN, the three-letter abbreviation of asparagine. Get it? Because Asian has the letters A, S, and N, right? It's the ASN Asian dressing. I'm not going to lie. I think you really outdid yourself today. That asparagus dish looks restaurant quality. Must be because you're following a cooking show on Netflix. See the red N or Netflix logo on your laptop there? This N for Netflix should help you remember the letter N for asparagine. You know. Since asparagine's one-letter abbreviation is, you guessed it, the letter N. Now that we've got all the names out of the way, let's move on to the structure of asparagine. As a finishing garnish, you're sprinkling some almonds over the top of your asparagus. See your arm garnishing with almonds from above? By the way, the almonds here should remind you of an amid group. Get it? Since almond sounds like amid, right? It's the amid almonds. What's more, you're holding these almonds in your hand, with your arm bent at the elbow. This should help you remember that asparagine's R group consists of an amide at the end of a one-carbon bridge. Because the almonds at the end of your bent arm kind of looks like the amide at the end of a one-carbon chain, right? Recall that all amino acids have a common structure centered around an alpha carbon, attached to an amino group, a carboxyl group, a hydrogen, and finally, an R group or side chain. This R group is unique for each amino acid, and for asparagine, it's an amide at the end of a one carbon chain. Again, doesn't asparagine's R group look a little bit like your bent arm holding the almonds? With this structure in your mind, let's move on to discuss some other important properties of asparagine. Despite working hard to improve your cooking efficiency, you really are still an amateur. That's why you've made so many dirty dishes, which you can see piled up in that wet sink. Yep, you've filled up that sink with water to loosen up some of the food and grime. By the way, the splashing water in this sink should help you remember that asparagine is a hydrophilic or polar amino acid. You know, because hydrophilic means water-loving or attracted to water, and polar amino acids are hydrophilic, right? Asparagine is a polar and hydrophilic amino acid. This is because of the amide group in its R group that we just talked about. You see, the amide group creates a dipole moment. Since the oxygen, and to a lesser extent the nitrogen of the amide, are more electronegative than the carbons. This amide group therefore adds polarity to the molecule and lets it coordinate well with water. The end result? Asparagine easily dissolves in water. That's why this amino acid is often found on the outer surfaces of cell membranes and on the outside of proteins, where it makes a lot of contact with the aqueous, water-based environment of our body. Before we end, let's touch on one more characteristic of asparagine. Asparagine is neutral. That is, it has a zero net charge at physiological pH. This is because its R group does not contain any functional groups that can hold a charge at physiological pH. Specifically, asparagine's amide group will almost never be charged. Got that? Alright, that's it for asparagine. Let's summarize what we've learned here and get back to our recipe. Asparagine is one of the 20 amino acids that make up proteins in our body and it is often abbreviated as the three-letter ASN, or single letter N. Asparagine's R group consists of an amide at the end of a short one-carbon bridge. 
This amide makes asparagine a polar or hydrophilic amino acid that dissolves easily in water. Finally, asparagine is neutral or uncharged at physiological pH. Okay, now we're really done with asparagine and your asparagus dish. I wonder if it'll taste as good as it looks. Only one way to find out. Until next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.